Hi, I'm Jason Weinberger, conductor of the Waterloo Cedar Falls Symphony, welcoming you to another episode of Music Makes Me, our series for curious young listeners. Today, we meet the symphony's flutist, Claudia Anderson. And I know Claudia is very excited to talk to you about some very exciting music by Igor Stravinsky. I'm Claudia Anderson, and I play flute in your WCF symphony. I'm so excited to be here today to talk to you about the music you just heard, about the flute, and about playing the flute in a symphony orchestra. Today you see me in the recital hall at Grinnell College, where I work. And although we are not allowed to be in here right now to perform, I wanted you to see the space we're in and also to get an idea of the beautiful acoustics I'll be playing for you in a moment. Uh, they're similar actually to the acoustics in our wonderful Gallagher Blue Dorn, and the sound of the flute just blossoms out into the hall. So I am going to talk to you today actually about being excited, and that is really what I feel when I hear, and especially when I play, those fantastic bright notes at the beginning of this piece called Petrushka by Igor Stravinsky. Um, what Stravinsky does in this opening is so amazing to me because he starts out, you hear kind of a murmur in the strings underneath, and above this comes this brilliant, striking solo flute. And what's so surprising to me is that Stravinsky achieves this, this effect of brilliance with very few notes, and actually, mostly, just two of them. There, there are a few more in here, but, but what he does primarily are these two notes. Now, how does he do that? How does he achieve excitement with two little notes? You listen again and you hear, you really hear the excitement, don't you? And really, when you think about it and listen some more, what becomes clear is it's the rhythm that makes this music so energetic and so exciting. It's bright and crisp and tight. And what he does here in just these few notes with the kind of special tonguing, we call it articulation, that we use, which I just did a second ago. So it's to make the notes just whew, pop right out. Take a listen to this excerpt, again, on just the flute and see what I mean. I don't know how that makes you feel, but it makes me feel like I want to get up, run and jump, do a cartwheel, dance. It goes so well with the music that Stravinsky is setting out for us because he's creating the colors and the high energy of a, a big outdoor fair. So we're figuring out that it's not the notes themselves that create a mood, but how they're used in the music and how they're played by the musician. 
Because if I take those same two notes that I played for you earlier and did something different, That conjures up a completely different mood and image, doesn't it? So you can think about that. But let's get back to excitement because what happens very soon after that opening you heard in the same beginning of the music here is that Stravinsky continues this high energy in the flute part with you're not gonna believe this, just one note primarily. And he does it again, you're going to hear it. And so take a listen now. This leads me to maybe the next thing. How, how do we do this? How are we able to play like this? You know, um, if I take those same two notes, and I don't put a lot of energy and I don't put a lot of air. It's going to sound maybe something like this. That's not very good, is it? It doesn't have color. It's not in tune. For certainly all wind instruments, most instruments, we have to be in good shape. We have to learn to develop our lungs. We have to take in lots of air know how to support it with our abdominal muscles, use our lips so that we can direct the air and get clarity of sound. And if I do all those things, you know, we get back to 